Hey guys, this is Mobile Tech Point. Good news for all the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge users. Finally, we have a fully stable Android 8.1 Lineage OS ROM. In this video, I'll show you how to install and give you guys my review on the latest build, which is August 2018. Let's get started. Before we start, you need to have a rooted phone with TWRP recovery installed. If you have not rooted your phone, I have a video for that. Please click on the i button or find the link in the description below. Please watch the video carefully and follow the instructions. Once you are done, come back to this video. You need to go to XDA Developers Lineage OS thread for Samsung Galaxy S7 or the S7 Edge. I will leave both the links in the description below. You need to download two files. One is Lineage OS 15.1 ROM file and the other one is OpenG apps. Both the files are zip files which you are going to flash in TWRP recovery. Now copy these two files into your phone's SD card. This is important because we are going to wipe the internal storage. Lineage OS ROMs are not pre-rooted, so we need to flash Magisk manually after the ROM. Let's download Magisk in a zip file and keep the file ready in our SD card. Now turn off your phone. Then press and hold volume up, home and power buttons all at the same time to boot into recovery mode. Once you are in TWRP recovery, click on wipe, format data and type yes to erase internal storage. Then go to advanced wipe. Select Dalvik Cache and Cache, then swipe to wipe. Now go to Install. Select Lineage OS ROM zip file. Then click on Add More Zip and select OpenG Apps zip file. Then swipe to flash. Now flash Magisk to have root access. Once the flashing has been done, click on Reboot System. Please make a note that initial boot may take up to 10 minutes to complete installation process, so please be patient. I have been using this ROM on my Galaxy S7 from past one week and I have noticed that animations feel a lot smoother compared to the previous builds. Performance of this ROM has been excellent. I have not seen any forced closes or random restarts. Battery performance is as good as a stock ROM if not better. I was able to end my day with 35-40% to of the battery still left. Previous builds had an issue with live display and color calibration. As a result, the screen would get a yellow tint like this. 
but in this build the issue has been sorted out and we have an option to change the settings in the display mode. Personally I always prefer the day mode. In advanced display you can change your theme to light or dark. You can even set this to change as per the time of the day or even let your wallpaper change the style for you. You can also change the accent colors as you like. On the downside, Lineage OS does not have the fancy customizations that a Resurrection Remix ROM come with. I have noticed in Titanium Backup app, I could not see a menu button. I am not sure if the problem is with the app or the ROM. If you face the same problem with any other app, we have a workaround. Go to Settings. Click on Buttons. Then go to Recent button and assign Open or Close menu to Long Press Action. What this will do is, when you want to access the menu, you need to long press recent button which will show you the menu exactly like this. If you are someone who likes pure Android, less customizations and solid performance, then you should definitely try this. There is also an official Lineage Android 7.1 ROM available for S7 devices. Let me know if you want to see a video on that. I will also test a new build of Resurrection Remix ROM and post a video so stay tuned. If you like this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to Mobile Tech Point. Also click on the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions please drop a comment I'll be happy to answer them. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time. Peace.